if, if we can approximate that a human to a monkey to a mouse to a fish to mm -hmm. a fruit fly mm -hmm. is at least somewhat similar, there may be a, a pretty serious discovery awaiting us that says something along the lines of if there is a lack of neurotransmission occurring where there is supposed to be when it's supposed to happen for especially when you're doing some sort of a task that usually gets you neurotransmission like a reward like a behavior that mm -hmm. usually gets you a reward mm -hmm. like in the case of people with depression it's like if you get out of the house and go and exercise or go and read a book or go and do something meet with friends do something that is drives you closer to your goals if you're not getting the same neurochemical flows that you should be that's a big problem mm -hmm. that's it yeah if our memory encoding system is having issues with neurochemical flows then there may be a much better specifically targeted way of doing stimulation to reintroduce those original neurochemical flows to continue people in the direction of when I do something when I'm supposed to get a neurochemical release then I actually get it. Mm -hmm. And st brain stimulation is a very interesting field that has a lot of, you know, ultrasound, electrical stimulation, magnetic stimulation, a lot of interesting, very careful stimulation is very important, um, very precise stimulation is very important, but healing people is very important, healing people, mm -hmm. bringing people back to their healthiest and most creative flow states of being is very important. <laughs>